In this video, I'm going to share a little crazy but really effective strategy how you can stop Instagram procrastination. I mean, Instagram content is the most addictive substance on the planet. You know how it happens. You just scroll your Instagram feed again and again. You're checking if there are any, any updates. And it seems like it's not a big deal, but five minutes here, 10 minutes there, and you actually end up spending one hour or even more in Instagram. So at some point I've committed to find a solution and I'm going to tell you about it. And if you are a chronic Instagram procrastinator as I was, it's going to change your life. So the solution is simple. All you have to do is just to sign up for some, some really awful accounts with cockroaches, with spiders, with uh, uh, pictures from surger surgery rooms and um, I mean there are a lot of surprisingly a lot of Instagram accounts like this and if you're going to you know just to subscribe to these accounts and uh, spend some time there uh, by randomly finding these pictures in your in your Instagram feed then at some point you will not feel like going to Instagram again. At some point I noticed that I spend in Instagram 30 minutes a day, then 20 minutes a day, then even less. And even though I still was subscribed to accounts with uh, really decent pictures from travels, uh, with, uh, you know, different Instagram models and um, stuff like this, Instagram accounts with the funny dogs, there is actually a, an Instagram account with eight corgi dogs. So try to find it. And uh, even uh, in spite of this, I still was able to reduce my screen time in Instagram to five minutes per day. And uh, it was a great change for me because I was stealing all this time from my productive work. So. Just to make your life easier, I've put some nice links to the description of this video so you can find uh, the specific accounts I have mentioned and, you know, just try to uh, teach your brain that Instagram is not such a great place as it seems to be because UX designers of Instagram, they made everything possible just to keep you addicted just to keep you coming back to Instagram feed and check all these uh, beautiful pictures and check uh, likes and uh, comments to your pictures in Instagram. So it's going to be kind of opposite thing because all these little rewards created by UX designers and uh, content makers, they, uh, they keep you addicted. But these little punishments that will occasionally appear in your Instagram feed, they will uh, kind of balance the situation. So you will become a bit less addictive and you can actually decide if you want to come back to Instagram or not. Uh, I actually at some point decided to unfollow some of the most uh, addictive accounts I was subscribed to and uh, it really helped. So. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this approach. I know it sounds a bit crazy, but if you actually try it and uh, uh, see that you reduce your screen time in Instagram, you will be surprised. And please share any links to the most terrifying Instagram accounts you are able to find. It's going to be really helpful to all people who decide to try this strategy. Thank you. and. Good luck.